Of the nearly 1,500 scorpion species in the world, only around 25 have a sting that is potentially dangerous to humans. And in the United States, the only one that packs such a punch is the bark scorpion. Right here. Ha! Look at that. There is a bark scorpion right on the underside of this branch. You sure that's a bark? I am 100% positive that's a bark scorpion. They have a very long tail and extra long skinny pinchers. You don't need a robust set of pinchers when you have a venom that's so toxic. All it takes is one sting and that prey is instantly doomed. Now the other way that I can easily tell this is a bark scorpion is that this is the only species that likes to climb. And they actually practice what's called negative geotaxis, which is hanging upside down. And this scorpion, as you can see, is just perfectly balancing there, which means it can move on the top of this branch or the bottom of this branch regardless and catch its food. So if a moth comes in close, boom, he's gonna snatch out with those pinchers, inflict a lethal sting, and then he has his dinner. All right, now, Scorpions are something that you would never, ever, ever want to handle, but what I'm going to do now is gently get this guy onto my hand to prove that scorpions aren't out there just to sting you. If I handle this scorpion gently, I'm pretty confident that it's not going to sting. But if I am tagged, this is going to be extremely painful. I'm Cody Peterson, and I'm about to free handle the most lethal species of scorpion in the United States. Are you ready? Here we go. One. Two, three. Okay, there we go. That is the most venomous species of scorpion in the United States. And he's on my hand. All right, this makes me a little bit nervous. I wanna see if I can get him to just sit still. Whew, that definitely gets your nerves going. Now, as long as I handle this creature gently and don't apply any pressure, I believe that I will be just fine. Scorpions sting people when they feel threatened. So let's say this species specifically, they love to hang upside down underneath things. It could be a piece of wood, it could be your lawn chair. You come outside and you grab onto that and you squeeze down on the scorpion. If it feels pressured, like it's going to get squashed, it's going to sting as a defense. As you can see right now, he doesn't have his tail or his stinger in a defensive position. He's just curious, he's looking around. He says, this is not a tree, this is different. And for me, this is also different and extremely nerve wracking. But the reason that I'm doing this is to prove that these scorpions aren't just out there to sting you. Now, how bad would it be if the scorpion were to sting you? Okay, there he goes, he stopped. If this scorpion were to sting me right now, I would be in incredible pain for the next 48 hours. I don't know how my body would react to the venom. I could go into anaphylactic shock. Not likely, but at the very least, extreme pain for 48 hours, depending how far the venom spread into my arm. I could lose use in my arm for a couple of days. <sighs> my tongue could swell up. I could foam at the mouth, cramps in the stomach, all sorts of bad stuff that you don't want to have to deal with. What I just want to do right now is stay as still as possible. The scorpion has found a spot where he feels comfortable. I feel comfortable. And as you can see, he doesn't feel agitated. I'm being as gentle as I can with him, and I must tell you right now, this is never, ever anything I recommend someone go out and try and do. This is the most venomous species of scorpion in the United States, and it is getting a little too close to the edge of my sleeve. Come on, buddy, come back up this way. All right, at this point, I think he's getting a little agitated, so what I wanna do is get him back up into the tree so he can continue hunting. This has been one extreme experience with the most venomous species of scorpion in the United States. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Arizona is home to the only scorpion anti-venom program in North America, and they only administer treatment to around 100 people a year. What's even more incredible is that no scorpion-related deaths have been reported in Arizona for more than 40 years. So the next time you see a scorpion, remember, these arachnids are more afraid of us than we should ever be of them. As long as you give a scorpion space and respect, there's virtually no chance it's going to sting you. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I was intentionally stung by a scorpion. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. I'm Caddy Peterson, and I'm entering the strike zone. One, two, three. Ah! Jeez, yeah, he got me.